In 1975, the world's attitude towards some ocean creatures changed radically. That's when a film based on Peter Benchley's novel, Jaws, tapped into the most primordial of human fears. Before his death, Benchley remembered what inspired him to create one of the screen's most frightening monsters. The shark was like a maniac to me. It was an unstoppable, uncontrollable force. And that, when I was a child, was always the most scary thing, was the maniac, the, the guy with the ax who you couldn't stop. Peter Benchley has spent years now trying to establish a, a counterpoint to the myth that, that sharks are really out to get us. Made a good story, but that's all it was, was a good story. If there's one thing I know for dead certain, it's that I couldn't possibly write Jaws today. I could not turn this beautiful beast into a villain. In movies like Jaws, you know, I know they you know, they, they sell a lot of tickets to people who want to see movies like that, but in many ways they also distort uh, the wonderful nature of that creature. Unfortunately, the damage was done. The demonizing of the great white shark in Jaws, which was meant solely to entertain, may have unintentionally put some species in danger of going extinct. Of all the animals in the world, few have survived for as long as the shark. Their streamlined bodies are perfectly designed for their role as the ocean's top predator. It's been this way for over 300 million years. But everything changed with the release of Jaws. That's when the predator became the prey. It's difficult to imagine a scenario uh, of the ocean without its top predators. Shark populations are declining dramatically. They're not capable of rebounding the way some other fish populations are due to their slow reproductive rates. Each year, nearly 100 million sharks are slaughtered. Most often, their fins are cut off while they're still alive. Then the sharks are thrown back into the ocean where they drown or bleed to death. I call it the last buffalo hunt. Just as at the end of the great buffalo hunt, people were killing buffaloes just for their tongues, we now kill millions of sharks just for their fins. Hong Kong is at the center of the global shark trade. Here, dried shark fins sell for over $200 per pound. And a bowl of shark fin soup can cost more than $100. Clearly, a thriving economy and the demonization of a species make it easy to ignore the scale of the slaughter. The wholesale slaughter of sharks to satisfy the tastes of a wealthy few is at the heart of a moral and ethical debate. Fortunately, there are places where communities and scientists have joined forces to find ways to coexist with the natural world. <laughs> 